doing it. Okay, welcome everybody. We are gathered here together tonight to talk about recruiting during the holidays. Um, recruiting during the holidays is not all that different than recruiting during regular times, but we're going to talk about different types of people that we're looking for with a bit of a holiday twist. Now, when I am trying to build my list, my master list, um, when I'm thinking about people that I want to target for recruiting, right? Because we are proactively recruiting, not passively recruiting. Real quick, the difference between proactively and passively recruiting would be you're going out, you're starting conversations, you're looking to um, invite people into the opportunity rather than sitting back waiting for somebody to say, hey, I think I can do what you do, which is almost never going to happen. So if you're passively recruiting, you're probably not recruiting hardly ever. But if you're proactively you're starting conversations with multiple people, you're offering the opportunity to absolutely everybody, and you're never prejudging anybody um, to, to think that they're not interested because this opportunity can be really great for lots of people. If you have not muted yourself, please do mute yourself um, so we don't have background noise. Thank you. Um, okay, where was I? Passively, proactively, recruiting, starting conversations. I lost my train of thought. During the um, holidays. Okay, so when I'm building my list, you always want to have a list that you're working from. That way when you have a new um, opportunity or a new promotion through Posh, if Posh is offering a new bonus for joining, you want to immediately go back to your always in progress list and go down that list to make sure that you're contacting everybody to talk about the promo that's currently available. You're always building that list. Okay, so it helps me to build my list by thinking about different categories of people. So before this call, I um, prepared eight different categories of people to help you to grow your list um, when you're thinking about connecting with people during this holiday season. Now we could talk forever and a day about <laughs> recruiting and different language to use, but what's most important for you to understand is that people join for their own reasons, and it's just up to you to offer that opportunity, right? Now, to be a more skilled or um, frequent recruiter, you need to have bigger numbers, you need to be talking to more people, and the more that you can be focused on their needs, solving their problem, what they're looking for, the more people that you're going to find want to join your team, want to give this business a try. Does everybody agree with that? Does that make sense? Is everybody with me? My internet is stable? Okay. <clears throat> so the very first person that we're going to talk about is the gifter and I would actually classify myself as this person. I love giving gifts. I love getting good deals on my gifts. So anybody that you know that loves to give gifts or that is frequently bringing a gift to, you know, a friend that hosts a dinner or whatnot or teachers or dance people or whatnot, or anybody that has lots of gifts to give. So a corporate friend or um, a business owner that has employees, anybody that's looking to give lots of gifts or has lots of gifts to give can join for $35 or $99 and they have instant access to behind the scenes information about sales coming up um, and giving discounted gifts, right? Because they can take advantage of the buy five, get one free, as well as earning the commission back. Um, never mind the perks that they're also going to earn and the hostess exclusives as long as they're opening up a party in their own name, but you get my drift, right? So that's category number one. <clears throat> category number two. Oh, and actually, if you guys can participate in the chat and I will try to remember to take a look at it. Oh, there's people in the waiting room. Sorry, um, but if you could participate in the chat, if you think of somebody that specifically fits a description as I'm talking about one of these, share your ideas in the chat just so that we can kind of expand our own ideas that we're taking down in our notes. All right, let me try to keep an eye on the waiting room. Okay, so idea number two in the chat. Okay. Everybody, we're doing great. 
um, somebody that's seeking connection. And this is where I said that recruiting during, you know, the holidays is not much different than recruiting during the regular season. During the regular season, I'm going to tell you to seek um, people that are looking for some kind of connection, looking to plug into a community, looking to expand, um, you know, their social connection, whatnot. Same thing during the holidays, especially during the holidays, right? There might be people that are really especially looking to have that circle of friends, that community to plug in, that outlet to spend their time and energy on, and what better way than to focus on gifting, pampering products during the holiday season, during the time that we really want to focus um, people on taking those five minutes or 55 minutes, whatever it may be, to themselves and not only, um, you know, trying to pour from an empty cup, right? What other people can you think of that uh, would be seeking a connection? Let's list different types of people. So, um, I mean, I would be one of them, right? I have no kids and no family in my immediate circle. So I would be seeking connection if I didn't have my giant outlet of posh friends to plug into. Um, somebody else would be somebody that works in retail. They're going to be drained all the time during this holiday season. Um, bargain shoppers, Jennifer says. That's a great idea too. My number three is product lovers. So joining gets you a discount on everything, right? So anybody that is your super duper product lover, you should be talking to them about potentially buying a kit and trying this business out. If they absolutely love your products, when they get access to the discount for being a consultant, they can expand their own product repertoire as big as they want, right? And if they absolutely love the products, they're going to be talking about them naturally to people around them in their social circle, whether it's coworkers, friends, family, whatever. And when they're talking about something that they're loving and using it, then they're going to be naturally sharing it and God forbid they might actually start making some sales, especially around the holiday season. Um, we have a lot of products that are very giftable, right? So my um, very good friend, I actually think I talk about her in the future, so I don't want to give it away. Oh, yeah, okay. I actually have a number that's almost built around her. It is kind of built around her exclusively. So let me just put a pause in that thought. Online shoppers, Jennifer LeBun says. All right, product lovers. So think about your product lovers. Number four, uh, which Jennifer mentioned here was bargain shoppers. I wrote penny pinchers. So I, when I joined, I mean, I still am, but when I joined especially, I was a super penny pincher. And joining Posh is a really great opportunity for your penny pincher shoppers. Because when they join for $35 or $99, again, they get access to taking advantage of that buy five, get the six free. They also earn their commission back. They also earn the perks. They also get hostess exclusives if they're, you know, collecting sales under their own party each month. And oh, by the way, they might start to build a business. And oh, by the way, they might make some sales where they earn a bonus commission. It's a really great idea to present to your penny pinchers. Hey, have you ever thought about sharing these products and making a little bit of money? All right, number five person that you want to be looking for on this holiday season is your hostesses. You want to be looking to flip your hostesses. If you've got a hostess that's having a really great party or even a mediocre party, right? Somebody that's naturally sharing these products with their friends and family and they're getting some interest, right? This is a perfect opportunity for you to present the opportunity to that hostess. Hey, you see, you've got a built-in customer base. Don't be afraid to give away those sales by recruiting your hostess who's there then going to have her, you know, friends and family sales as her sales, they're still going to be your team volume and that's looking to build your organization. And I can go off on a whole tangent, but suffice it to say, you make money from your sales, but you make long-term and bigger paychecks from building a team. And it all starts with that first recruit, that second recruit, and slowly building a team. And while you might not feel like immediately you're making a giant leader bonus, it really does build up. And that's where you're making that income that can really, you know, allow you to walk away from a job in the future, blah, 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 
really well. But just know that building a team is really truly um, beneficial to your paycheck long term. Don't um, be short sighted because it's very easy and natural to feel like, oh, I don't want to give away that customer or those sales from that party by recruiting this hostess. But don't feel that way. You don't want to feel that way. You want to recruit your hostess. So the hostess flip is a very natural and great um, resource to think about potentials that you want to talk to about potentially joining. Does anybody have any questions? I have somebody in the waiting room. No, no questions. Are we all here? We still have service. We're doing great. Yes. Okay. Um, number six. Alyssa says, so easy now with the ability to earn the kit. Yes, flipping your hostess. Now your hostess can earn that kit for free with her sales. That's a really great point. Yes, love it. Okay, so number six is the mayor. You wanna recruit the mayor, and I don't actually mean the mayor of your town, and this is the one that I wrote thinking about my friend Dina. So my friend Dina works at um, a 911 operator, dispatch situation like really hard job and she works a ton of hours she has a second job where she manages this construction workers office situation that's like embedded with some other offices or whatever and then she has a third job where she takes care of her grandmother blah 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 she works a ridiculous amount but she knows everybody like ridiculous and so I like to say she's like the mayor because we can't go anywhere and we live high in the suburbs of California where she doesn't know at least one or five people and her phone's not ringing off the hook anyway she is just the perfect person to be selling posh hello but she has no interest and selling it so whatever it doesn't mean that I don't still try once in a while however she is a product lover so she is not only a product lover but she is a freaking mayor in that she knows everybody and she's super personal and she just talks and you know is naturally sharing of all things in life <clears throat> so what I do with her is I give her one of every product basically so like when the new apple hand cream not every product but of hand creams so when the new apple hand cream came out i bought one and i gave it to her along with three sealed ones and this is something that evolved over time so i'm not suggesting that every mayor that you know you go and give five hand creams to but um she loves the hand creams and so she'll have three or four open hand creams in her bag at any time that she's willing to just share with her coworkers. and naturally she sells hand creams for me she should be selling them for herself because she's sells them all day long like my phone just cha-chings with Venmo payments and again that's not exactly how our relationship started but she's just a close friend of mine I used to give her posh every now and again because hi that's how we get people hooked on it right we get posh on them one way or another and if they won't take it from me for free I will gift them hand creams because gosh darn it they need to try it eventually I've done this with my nail tech lady too I'm like did you try my hand cream did you try my hand cream have you used my hand cream because I gave it to her as a present and so I don't feel bad about being like did you try it did you try it did you try it and then she finally did and she was like yes it's not greasy at all and I was like duh this is why it's so good I've been telling you anyway blah 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 tangent tangent the mayor people that you know lots of people somebody in the PTA you know whatever if you can't actually recruit them at least consider maybe sharing hand creams with them if they would like to share them with others on behalf of you it's nothing we have a waiting room person um there's nothing wrong with you recruiting little salespeople under you even though they should be joining your team they can go sell for you okay that was a little bit of a tangent but anyway recruit your mayors okay number seven okay so this is where i started to run out of ideas and i just went off on little tiny tangents but how cute is the wine chunk which i should have here as a prop 
How cute is the wine chunk, everybody? You should recruit all of the winos that you know. People that love wine, you should be talking to about how cute the wine chunk is that I'm displaying here for you. And they could be gifting it to all of their friends or anybody that's associated with a winery in any way, shape, or form. Hello, pitch the wine chunk. Oh, this was what the topic should have been. Any particular product that evokes emotion or makes you think of a particular business Hello, go approach that business and be like, hello, look at my perfect product that made me think of your business. Would you like to gift this to all of your customers? I can give you special pricing. Would you like to gift this to all of your employees? Think about bulk buys in that way, which is totally tangent from recruiting, but sorry, I just had that idea. Isn't that a good idea? Are we here for it? Okay, good. Um, number eight. Ooh. Hold on, I got a text message. No, I didn't feed the pigs. Okay, sorry. Um, oh, it's super dark here. Okay, I'm glad you put everybody away. Okay, number eight. Oh, this is my last one. And then I have another little small tangent thing to tell, talk to you guys about. Um, and then I wanna know if you guys have any questions. So start thinking about if you have any questions because I'm almost to the end. Number eight is moms of girls. So moms of girls spend lots of money on pampering type products. So don't be afraid, and this is a whole nother tangent I could go on, to offer them the gift, right? Oh God. Um, hold on, sorry guys. Hello. I'm, I'm literally live on a training. That's okay. Did they go inside? Okay, well, I'm going to be done in like probably like 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, bye. Okay, sorry. I got totally distracted. Um, Susie said, I have given wine, Big Fat Yummy hand cream samples. Oh my God, yes, the wine, Big Fat Yummy hand cream to wineries before. Yes, I love that. Um, and then make sure to keep following up. And if you're giving samples, ask if you can maybe put a little sign in the bathroom with some samples or something like that. Um, or if they ever do like open houses or whatever, ask if you can do... I mean, then we're getting into COVID situations. Anyway, blah, blah, tangent, tangent, tangent. Okay, back to moms of girls. Moms of girls buying lots of soap, buying lots of pampering products. Don't be afraid to pitch them. This is where I could go into a tangent about this being a gift, right? So it's not a, prob um, a problem. It's not a bother for us to talk to somebody about joining, right? So there's a bad rap that people get about recruiting and direct sales. And I just want to tell you, throw that nonsense out the window. You have to try to give no fluffs about it. Tis the season for no fluffs, right? Because I was that person that was never, ever going to do direct sales. And I was like, scoff at the idea. And look at me now, right? You just never know. And so you really want to remember that what you're doing, you love doing it. You love the products. If you're genuinely passionate about it and you're sharing that with somebody from a genuine space, right? It's up to them to reject it or not. And it doesn't have to it doesn't matter and it's not on you, right? It's on them to decide. And I personally rejected the posh opportunity many times before I accepted it into my life. And again, like I've, gosh, it's almost been six years, right? Six or seven, six, almost six. Okay, so that was my last person that I wanted you to think about recruiting was Moms of Girls which, you know, think about it, anybody that's connected to lots of girls, because we can go back to the um, tangent I went on about the wino, but anybody that's connected to lots of people about gifting soap or gifting hand lotion, think about corporate connections, whether it's a small local business or somebody that you know that manages a large office or maybe um, a franchise owner or maybe the local restaurant that you really truly love to to go to lots of times before COVID or that you go get lots of takeout from, you get the idea. Okay, and then the last thing that I had in my notes here were um, putting together things that you can mail. So I have sell stay at home simple steps to pamper sets. 
Okay, so those are, that's obviously not going to be the official name. Stay at home, simple steps to pamper sets, right? Okay, so, um, you know, just cute little sets of a small, um, think body scrub, hand cream would be like a nice little mini manicure. I didn't actually think it through with actual products, but maybe that's something we can do on our team pages is think about small sets of products that you can easily mail um, to somebody with a little cute little step by step card of how they can actually pamper themselves. And maybe it says five minutes or take 10 minutes or whatever. And it can even include a sample of something else, right? So that way you're selling this simple set for 20, 30, 40, whatever the price point is. And it also includes one or two samples of other things that you could potentially upsell down the road. I just made that up on the fly. Um, another um, name that I had here was comfort during COVID or COVID comfort. I don't know if it's too cheesy to even play on that, but whatever, stay at home spa, mask on, mask off, you get the idea. But think about pampering kits at home, um, ready to gift things, which has nothing to do with recruiting, but I just had the thought when I was taking these notes. So those are all of the notes that I had. What questions have you guys come up with for me? I hope you enjoyed this training. Heather Sellers said she loved those ideas. Thank you. Susie said she's totally contacting them about their gift baskets they're offering. Perfect. Emily said awesome tips. Thank you very much. Alyssa, have you been here the whole time? She makes me nervous. You are very welcome. And you guys, I have sweatpants on. So just a, I'm just half glamorous tonight. Um, Teresa said she's thought of lots of people from this list. Yay! Party on the top. Lonnie said, love these. I'm currently putting together a mom turned teacher for all the for all the mamas that are now teachers because of COVID. Oh, mama turned teacher. I get it. I love that. I love you too, Susie. Oh. There's the Kubota. All right, you guys, if you don't have any questions, I should probably go check on the pigs. Lord knows. Um, all right, well, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I hope that you had fun, and we do this every month. So we'll see you next time. Have a great night. Goodbye.